Brown, the center fielder. Shane Conlon running on the first pitch. That pitch hit deep into right field. It's over Gruber's head, bounces off the wall. Conlon gets into third safely, and Brown is into second standing with a double. So trouble here in the top of the fourth inning for the Mavericks. Full count, see if he can do it again. That pitch down the middle and ripped into center. Schultz going back on it. Might be a sacrifice fly. He will throw the ball into third. Everyone will advance on the play as the ball gets by Throco to third. But they are able to back it up, keep the runners from advancing more. Kansas State gets on the board with a sacrifice fly on the play. It's now 1-0 Wildcats here at the top of the fourth inning. So Meltz will come with it again. And that pitch grounded. Third base just past Thorell Kelly and Taylor for a clean single. The leadoff runner is aboard once again for Kansas State. Shane Meltz steals the 3-2 pitch. And is lined to first. Morrison gets a glove on it, but it bounces off into right field. Tate will run it down. And the run will score on the play. And that will bring Maverick pitching coach ready for the 2-2 pitch. Swing on, swung on and missed, rather. A high fastball. And that will in the inning. Melts his third strikeout of the game. They leave one runner on. One, one hit, one run scored in the inning for the Wildcats. It's now 2-0 going into the bottom of the fifth inning. Mark keeping the Mavericks off the board. He comes with the 0-2 pitch. And Schultz delivers a hit. That's down in left field for extra bases. Knife racing around third. He will be waved. No, he, he falls. And he will get back to third safely. He looked like he was going to round third and head for home, and there would have been a play at the plate. We have to assume he saw something different. 3-2 pitch again is down and in for a miss. Ball four. Clayton Taylor will take a walk down to first. And the first run of the game scores for the Mavericks. Colin Life comes in to make it 2-1 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. He certainly does. The 1-2 pitch to Morrison, and it hit him. Yes, Joel Hoshbaka is telling Mortensen to jog on down to first. Put him on the arm. Mortensen favoring it a little bit. But the result is a tie ball game as another run comes home easily for the Mavericks. Two to two. Well, whatever works to get the runs, I guess. Yeah. Larson with a nice off-speed pitch on the inner half. Gets him to swing and miss. With two outs in the inning now. Good start for Mitch Larson coming out of the pit. Case Kate reaches, and Kate with a sharp single up the middle. Nice pitch to hit there. Swinging hard, 3-1. A sharp ground ball up the middle for a base hit. That was the right way to do it. He took that fast one and just shot it right back up the It's two and two, two outs, runner on second in a 2-2 game, lots of twos. That pitch popped in the air to center in no man's land. Clayton Taylor can't get it. Schultz fields it on the hop. Run scores on the play. Just a little bloop single there by Tyler Wolf and the Wildcats go back in front three to two. Seems to make sense right now, but it definitely leaves them open to giving up an easy hit. That ball grounded to short. Clayton Taylor comes up with it. Barehanded throws home in time for the force out. Nice play by Clayton Taylor coming up barehanded cleanly on a wet ball. Throwing home in time. Knife setting up outside for the three two pitch. It is high and away. And Calvano walks in a run. Now 4-2, to the Kansas State Wildcats lead the UNO Mavericks. Colin Life setting up outside. Calvano deals a fastball. Hit to the right side and through the hole. One run will score for the Wildcats. Another run coming home. The throw is up the line from Gruber. Two runs will score for the Wildcats. Now lead it 6-2. to two. A huge 2-RBI single for Clayton Dalrymple. I don't know if he gets that one on target if he's going to get the out. I don't think so. That fast. Volkers. The 1-0 pitch is hit up the middle for a base hit. Looks like one run will score for the Wildcats. 7-2. Schultz's throw from center is off the line. Thrown into third. Volkers backing it up. But once again, bounces off the Maverick dugout fence. He stands on the first base side of the rubber. Kind of hunched down in his stance. And that pitch hit the other way over Clayton Taylor's head into left. Daniel Jewett up with it. He will have no play at home, and Kansas State puts their 10th run on the board just like that. Max Brown comes around to score. He hits a line drive right back to Bueller, who can't catch it on the fly, but he will make the throw to second to get the force out and get the lead runner there on that play. 
the Serator is out, and Taylor Anderson will reach on the floor. Uh, Robert, I think what happened there was we had opportunities in the first, second, and third innings, got guys on base and did not advance them. You do that, you leave the door open for the other team to, I mean, there's a chance we have four, five, six runs right there in three innings. Instead, we give zero, and now you got a decent team over there, and they go, wait a minute, they're not going to capitalize, we'll do it. So I counted, they had five bunts that went for hits for them that are advanced runners, we had zero. And so that was pretty much the ball game. Then the bullpen let us down a little bit, and all of a sudden it ballooned out of, you know, then it got out of control pretty fast.